So we're back to doing the painting again. Um, obviously, like I said, there was still a bit more painting to be done on the front nose cone. I just want to show you a few of the, the products that I've bought again. I've got here tack cloths. There's you get like ten for six quid, so well worth the investment. And then again, you know about the Pondswood paints. Again, they, they set me up exact same colours as last time. Uh, should come out quite nice. They annoyingly didn't have any 2K clear in the um, Activate cans, so I had to take the risk and use this stuff. I've used this before, it's come out really well on cars, um, but it's really annoying that I started lacquering with the other stuff and now I've got to use this stuff. This is also 2K, 2K clear, but I don't know how it's going to look against the other stuff that's been already cleared. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take tack cloth and I'm just going to wipe down the surfaces as you can see it's quite dusty on here um, again a lot of stuff's gone on my hand so I'm going to put a pair of gloves on it in a sec as well so this is a tack cloth nothing is sighting it's quite sticky and horrible um, here's a great example as you can see there is dust just there I just literally come straight off onto here you don't want any dust in your paint so you want to rub this down with this tack cloth and get all the dust you can off it because it won't do you any favours later when you've got dust in your paint so what I'll do is I'll do this, get on with it, get some paint on it and I'll show you what it comes out like Just polished them up, put the door on, put some more fit, new fittings on it. It blends in quite nice. George, George, biscuit. Bye, George. So here, here are the Aprilia RS50 clocks. Yeah, I've already removed them off the bike. Uh, it's literally three bolts and a, and a couple of, and literally one connector. So you've got three nuts just there and there, and literally it comes straight off. And then obviously you've got your connectors underneath. So. I've removed this clock because um, neither of these two work and I, again I wasn't too bothered about the um, sender unit anyway. So obviously I couldn't get these two to work, I've tried a cable and I've also tried um, now buying a new speedometer. So I've removed these to try, some, try another clock just to see if the clock's at fault. So in this box I've already opened it because I had to check to make sure it was in, the, in good condition, are the new clocks. Which are really, really nice clocks. Um, they've got barely 5,000 miles on them. It's just shy of 5,000 miles. Um, yes, the bike's been rebuilt and a new paint job and it's been reconditioned. So, yes, there is a is going to show up a mileage issue on the MITs. But, obviously, it's still low mileage. Um, I rectify with the, the new owner. that Obviously, it had different clocks in there and, obviously, um, I'll give them the original clocks. There might be an opportunity that somebody else might be able to fix it. 
Um, one thing I don't like is obviously on the original ones, the background are white on these ones here and here. These these ones are white, and then obviously, so that's one thing I don't like because obviously it's not original. But you know, I was trial and error. I'll see if it works. See the connectors. Make sure everything works. I'll just bolt it back on and hope that it works. So it appears I think I figured out why my speedometer clocks weren't working. Obviously, um, on this side, that's a screwdriver. On here should be a little plastic cog that goes into the, the little gear that's in here. This one happened to have one, but this one didn't. So, well, there should there should be like if you can see it on camera, just have a look. There should be a little bit of plastic just in there, the little white bit, and then also it sits here, it spins and sits on the back of the actual clock in this little slot here. So there should be a piece in there, but this one's missing it. So that may actually be the problem. Also just notice there's damage on this back of this clock as well. So that's a bit disappointing. So far I've got the um, front fairing on. I think it looks good. Um, I've also found that the front bracket is bent, which is really frustrating. So I've got to straighten that out. But slowly putting it back together. Obviously, I'm just mocking it up for now because I've still got a, um, still got to put the that bracket or the little cog part back on. The mud guard isn't actually painted. It's the, what the original colour was. I just polished it up just to see if it was a similar colour or not. Because it's very like pinky, pinky purple. But obviously this lets it down quite a lot. All the scratches and stuff. So that's going to be painted anyway. But I just wanted to see how good it is for the match. There are various bits and pieces still need to sort out. I'm still certain that that is not the correct shock. It's literally almost bolt upright. I need to locate a original air box for it. As I like to run the original air box. I have got an aftermarket carburetor on it at the moment, which does the job. Um, there's a few bits like I need to probably put a split split pin pin in that, so I don't um, wide off in it again without a split pin in it. Uh, I imagine the brakes need probably a little uh, little retaining clip on the end because it looks like it's just about coming out. So yeah, that probably needs a retaining clip on the other side. Battery needs to go in, side case needs to be cleaned, well, all this stuff sort of mocks. It doesn't really need it drastically at the moment, obviously the brake clip and the rear pin definitely. Um, but we'll get there eventually. I'm not too happy with the finish on the, the front. I think I could have gotten, I need to polish it a bit more. Like I said to everyone else, it's never going to be perfect. But no, let's get in there. Got to do mud guard, do, do wing mirrors. Um, middle section, which is over here. That section there, I need to turn on. I'm going to do jet, not jet black, um, LC9Z black. So there'll be that piece to be done. Um, I need to locate the original seats, which is really frustrating because I want to do a single cow um, seat. So I'll literally build that section over. So that'd be good, put the original seat in there so it could still be accessible. Um, but I might have to eBay one just so I can get that sort of that piece done with paint. Um, then obviously a seat, obviously can't find it, so that's a definitely must, must get done. But there's a good chance I'll mock it all together and then you can see what it looks like just roughly. So at the moment it's roughly back together. Now obviously I still got to find the seats and I've got to make a few purchases. Left uh, rear uh, clip. Uh, rear brake doesn't seem to do a lot so I'll have a look into that. I think it might be the hose I'm using. Yeah, there's a few bits of the exterior looking bit. It has little pieces along here which I had one um, but obviously it didn't actually fit so Got to try another one. It's come out absolutely incredible, this colour. Can't really see it. It's only when the light's on it, but again, like I said, it's, it is gorgeous, the colour. Such a finish. This is just literally sitting on this plastic. But obviously I've got to screw it down and all that sort of stuff. Put this side on. 
I'm not too bothered at the moment. Just want to get a, a, a rough idea what it looks like. It's getting there though. Look at those clocks, just show that bit's missing. Obviously to get it out of the building I have to take it all back apart again. Anyway, so it's just a mock-up really. But you can see what's going to happen, or what, what it looks like. Um, this rear section here, I'm going to go um, LC9Z Black, which is Volkswagen VAG Group um, Metallic Black. Should look quite nice. Have a mud guard to, to paint. I've got the wing mirrors to paint. I still can't find the, the seats. So we will have to look for purchasing new seats. And then I can do the... I might do a single seat conversion. Which obviously I still need key accessible. But it still should be able, should be able to access or access it. But it should look quite good when it's done to be honest. It's very smart. Very nice colour. I'm quite excited to see it done. In a, in a way, I kind of want to see, leave that sort of like a silvery colour. But I think the Magic Black or um, LC9Z Black or whatever it's called will look quite nice against that. I was going to do something with the wheels. I'm not sure yet. All, all down to budget. I've kind of overspent on pay, just spray paint really in 2K. Uh, I, got, I want to paint the rear caliper and I might also paint the front one. Again, not sure what colour. I might go... Uh, I've seen a lot of them are red. And I like gold. It goes well with the purple. So there's a good chance it'll go gold like the front one. Uh, there. So it should, should have a front one. But no, it should look really nice when it's done. I've not gone over the top or anything like that. It, it, I think it works really well.